following extensive cybernetic replacements to resuscitate her from injuries suffered while on an extended undercover mission as Major Shira Bri to infiltrate the Rebel Alliance and publicly disgrace Luke Skywalker during the years of Alliance attacks against the New Order Galactic Empire. Lumaya was appointed the Emperor's Hand and Shadow Hand of Darth Vader, the Sith Emperor's Apprentice. Lumaya was sent by Vader to the ancient Sith world Zeost to recover long-lost Sith artifacts, and she did indeed find a relic tome instructing her in the creation of a light whip. However, while Lumaya was on Zyost, Luke Skywalker dueled Darth Vader and defeated the Emperor's temptation to join the Sith, and the Rebel Alliance destroyed the second Death Star above the forest moon of Endor. Following this period of time, Lumaya largely assumed the administrative duties of a full, acting Dark Lady of the Sith, coordinating between the extragalactic Nagai, Essard, battling the Yuzhan Vong, and apprenticing three Dark Lords to Sith Ascendancy, among countless other missions run to re-establish solidity in the Sith cause. Lumaya remained, for the most part, a strict adherent of the Rule of Two, although she outlived two of her three apprentices. The first of Lumaya's Sith apprentices was the Force-sensitive Belarone native, male stormtrooper named Flint. Another hopeful on the list of Vader's potential candidates for apprenticeship like Lumaya herself, and challenging and besting him in the ruins of Vader's abandoned citadel on the planet Vajun, Lumaya dubbed Flint the Dark Lord of Belderon. However, Flint's loyalty to Lumaya was short-lived, and on the planet Naldar was freed from Lumaya's hold on him by his childhood friend Barney, and pledged his allegiance to Skywalker, although he would be forced to spend much of his remaining life in an Alliance prison cell of Mandalorian iron. Eventually, the tragic existence of Flint, the Dark Lord of Belderon, was brought to an end on his home planet, and he was found stabbed through the throat presumably executed for his betrayal by Lumaya. The second of Lumaya's Sith apprentices was the male human Imperial Royal Guardsman, Karnor Jax, recruited by Lumaya around the time of the murder of Flint on Belderone. During these few years, Lumaya and Jax worked together to exterminate potential rival threats to their consolidation of the post-imperial Sith-sided power structure. To this end, Karnor Jax and Lumaya exterminated the last few remaining pockets of the old prophets of the Dark Side, begun by Darth Millennia, almost immediately after the Rusan reforms of around 1000 BBY on the planet Bostherda, and, alone, Jax sought to single-handedly eliminate his entire old regimen of royal guards, which he successfully accomplished, killing them all save one in a surprise attack on the planet Yin Chor. The remaining royal guardsman, a longtime friend and rival of Jax, Kir Kanos, eventually slew Jax in a final battle on Yin Chor. Though continuing to operate behind the scenes in galactic affairs, using the Vectivus holocron to generate force phantoms, fomenting the Corellian Five Worlds 
separatist movement away from the Federation of Free Alliances and coordinating with the new order of Sith on Korriban before being thrust into the midst of the Yuzhan Vong invasion of 25 ABY. Lumaya took no other apprentice for the next 30 years after Karnor Jax. At this point, only pretenders to the imperial throne and Sithari Regnal Crown remained. For a brief period, in 11 ABY, a Jedi student at Luke Skywalker's Yavin 4 Praxium Academy, the dire-born human male Kip Duran, became possessed by the Force Spirit of Exar Kun, and, stealing the Imperial Era superweapon ship the Sun Crusher, went on a rampage against the remaining Imperial fleets, in the process accidentally killing his own brother. Kip Duron returned from this possession by the Force Spirit of ancient Sith Lord Exar Kun, and eventually went on to become one of the first Jedi Masters to sit on the Jedi High Council. He eventually opposed ceding more control over the Jedi Order to Chief of State Omas, following the border conflict between the Chiss Ascendancy and the insectoid Killick species but would eventually find himself openly fighting against it in battle after Jason Solo took control of the Galactic Alliance during the Second Galactic Civil War, beginning 40 years ABY.